Welcome to the new Porsche Panamera. Well, it's not an all-new model, but it is a facelift based on the second generation version carrying over the MSB platform. The exterior is very similar to the outgoing model, except at the front you've got the company's latest grid-like daytime running lights, as well as the previously optional sport design front bumper bar as standard. The all-new Turbo S model showcases an exclusive front end and side intakes while the GTS features darkened highlights for that sporty and sinister theme. Porsche offers rear-wheel drive for the base model, as featured here in stunning silver, while upper variants are all-wheel drive. All variants also show off fresh alloy wheel designs. Inside, you'll find a luxurious and extremely well-made decor, with a subtle undertone as per Porsche's traditional philosophy. The amount of physical controls and switches has been minimized over the years and that creates a cleaner and uncluttered feel. It's definitely a very smart atmosphere. The latest touchscreen now incorporates wireless Apple CarPlay as standard. There's also two TFT displays which are configurable surrounding a large mechanical rev counter within the instrument cluster. Passenger space in the front and back is excellent, even with the coupe style roofline at the back. As standard, the Panamera is a four-seat vehicle, but you can option for a two plus one configuration at the rear if you need a fifth seat. Although that chunky driveline tunnel does soak up some middle seat room. Boot space is also very respectable for this style of vehicle. And you have the added bonus of being able to flip down the rear seats while utilizing the large opening of the hatch tailgate. Under the bonnet, the range kicks off with a 2.9 twin turbo V6 as shown here. But you can add a hybrid electric assistance system to this engine, or you can opt for a twin turbo V8, or even a twin turbo V8 hybrid. As this video was put together during the official media launch event, we're only taking a glance at all variants. We drove the base model and the GTS on the road only, but we did manage to run a V-Box test of the Turbo S model on a racing circuit. Here's a sample of the engine sounds of the V6 and the GTS V8, as well as a 0 to 200 demonstration in the Turbo S. This is what it goes like. Yep. <laughs> cool. That's pretty good. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs>